Hello great people. Hello great people. Great people of Biafra. Welcome once again today. This is going to be a quick one. I want you people to join me so quick. I just want to make this uh, video direct here. Welcome once again my great people. This is going to be a quick one. This is going to be a quick one. I'm not going to waste much of your time. Uh, but what I want to say here is going to be very, very brief. Uh, of course, I know that uh, uh, the Facebook, they cannot allow us. But believe you me, I must do this video. Whether people like it or not, I have to say my mind uh, so that people will understand what we are saying. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, and great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Okukano. My name's O, Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Biafran Child in Wachineke, the General. This is going to be a very quick one, very quick one. So I want you all to join me so that you people can be able to understand what I'm saying. Because what I'm saying is, you know, there is no lie about what I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave or I'm going to say here right now. My great people, there is some important message that I want you people to listen to. Like I said, I'm not going to take much of your time. I want people to join us. Can we get 100 people before we move? I know that Facebook can't even allow us to get that such a people. Because believe you me, Facebook is already with us in this um, IPOB Rapture Media. As far as we own our video, they are already there. And the way the more people are getting inside, they will begin to remove people. But it does not matter. I will say what I will have to say. So without wasting of your of your time, there is something, some question that we have to begin to ask to those people that they said that they are in charge. I want to begin to ask this question because it's very, very important. And I know some of you won't ask this question, but believe you me, I am... I am also in right position to begin to ask this question because I pay my dues. I, I contribute every month. So that is the reason why I have that, you know, I am in position to ask this question. The question that I want great people of Biafra now to begin to ask. I want you all to begin to ask Kanonta this question because it's very, very important. Because what we are seeing today, believe you me, I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call what all this Kanunta and Madame Finance is something that I don't even understand. But I must talk about it. I must talk about it because if I don't talk about it, nobody will say it. They will tell you if you speak, who are you to speak? I am in that position to speak. Now, I want you people to understand this. That the question that you begin you have to begin to ask Kanonta is this. Why is that when they adopted our leader in Kenya, when they kidnapped our leader in Kenya? Ask Kanonta why Mazishina Samoru called him to ask him where is our leader Onyendu? Kanonta told Mazishina Samoru that Onyendu is a mountain praying. Why Kanonta knows that they hold our leader? That is the question that you have to begin to ask now. Why Kanonta told Shina Samoru that our leader is a mountain praying? Why our leader is in the house of the, uh, in the house of enemy in Kenya? And another question that you're supposed to be asking again: Why, when they kidnap our leader, who gives Kaloline Okorafo permission to begin to tweet? By using Mazen Nandekanu Twitter handle, why our leader is in hands of enemy, and Kalo Ryan Okorafo is tweeting on our leader Twitter. She was tweeting on our leader's Twitter uh, page. That is an easy. This thing have to draw us somewhere. Does it mean that these people know? Of course they know what happens to our leader. Of course they know. That is, that is why I want you people to begin to ask all these questions that I'm saying now. Why when they adopted our leader, 
Caroline Okora, of course, she knows that they adopted our leader. Who give Caroline Okora for to begin to tweet? I mean, to begin to deceive our people that our leader, Mazen Namdekanu, is fine. Because that is the issue that a lot of people raised. Now you say they kidnap our, your leader. How your leader is tweeting? How, who is tweeting for our leader? That is the question that we have to ask Caroline Okora for. We also have to ask Kanon Takano. He said that he's in charge of legal team. IPOB legal team. That is what Kanonta said. That he is in charge. I want you people to raise this alarm. Kanonta, what is update? What is the update on the money we have been paying? What is the update up to date as I'm speaking to you? What is the update from our legal team in, in London? What is the legal, uh, our, our update in the legal team in Kenya? And the one in Biafra land, he said that he's controlling. Begin to ask Kanonta that question. And I want to let you people understand something because you know that whenever we are talking about auditing, people don't even understand why we are saying all these things. And this is also a message to Madam Finance. I have been waiting for them. None of them have sent me any letter because you know they threatened me before that they will send me to court. I was looking at these people that they think that they are just talking to a, a, a they, you know, these people thought that they were talking to a political asylum person. That is what they think in their mind. That is what they think in their mind. They are talking to somebody that is nobody. Um, that is what I'm trying to tell you. Here in Germany that we are living, I am somebody. But it's when they will call me there, when we reach there, they will know that I am somebody. I want you to ask Madam Finance. All the PayPal money that our people have been contributing before... Because now we are not talking about... We are not, I'm not telling you about our monthly contribution. I want you people to know that the people that are overseeing our monetary contribution, they are people there. We are not talking about our monetary contribution. We are talking about the ESM money they have been paying in PayPal. And if you people can be able to figure it out, how much money is in that PayPal that people have been contributing. We want Madam Finance to come and tell us where is all those money that they have paid on PayPal. This money that I'm telling you people, I don't lie about what I'm saying. Is more than what Oyibo and Bridget Okafor and Nelly Ofebu stolen from our people. It's a very huge money. That is what they want to tell them that they want to oversee all those money that they have contributed. We want to ask Madam Finance, can she come and tell us how did she give Kanonta 1 million euros or 1 million dollars? To begin to control the legal team they should come and begin to ask an hunter all those money they give to you one million dollars they give to you what have you used that money for come and tell us how can a madam finance we come and give somebody that is not part of it's not in dos he's not a principal officer he claimed to be mazen namdekano brother and the madam finance is carrying our wealth that we have already you know you know donated carry and give one another one person and I keep on asking that question to these people. You say that Oyendu say that uh, Mazishike Dozem shouldn't oversee the account of uh, of uh, our our account. Then I ask them if Oyendu said Mazishike Dozem shouldn't go there, according to Kanonta, Mazishina and none of them shouldn't go there. It's only Adan Nen Nayanya. Now I begin to ask a question. You supposed to be asking Adan Nen Nayanya is this? Now, who give her that authority to begin to give money to Kanonta? Who gave him? Who gave her the authority? Can somebody tell me? Ask Madam Finance. Who gave her the authority to begin to work with Nen Nayanya? Why Kanonta is not part of DOS? Kanonta is not a principal officer. Kanonta is just a floor member. He's nobody. Like the way I am, nobody. I'm just a floor member. I'm not staying when I'm saying nobody. I want you people also to use your brain. We all floor member. Who make Kanonta to begin to work out with Adan Nenaya? And that is a question that is supposed to be asked. But I something I want you people to understand quite right. That is issue that you must hold. Hold it very, very tight. Do you know that our leader asks why the why the, our 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 why so why his leadership couldn't ask about him when they adopted him? How can the leadership ask about Mazen Namdekano? Why Mazi Shina Sangoru asked Kanonta the first time? Where is Onyendu your brother? Kanonta say our leader is a mountain praying.
Caroline Okorafo is there. Where her mother is a uh, Adama Brown. They were there. Tweeting, tweeting like how everything is fine. Our leader is in the hands of enemy. Why this idiot called Caroline Okorafo was tweeting, tweeting on our leader's page that nothing is happening. Why Kanonta is there lying to the DOS that our brother, his brother is in mountain praying? They came to Kanonta again, ask you, Kanonta, where is our leader? Kanonta said that our leader is okay, is fine. Mazishik, Mazishin Asamoru still repeat it again in his broadcast. He say he called Kanonta, even though the day they rendition our leader to that zoo called Nigeria. He called Kanonta. He said, Kanonta, where is our, where, where is our leader Onyendu? Kanonta still tell him that our leader is fine. Kaloran Okurafo is there tweeting. They call him a lawyer, a woman that has nothing upstairs. Even though the day that I was speaking to this lady, I was trying to say, how, who make this idiot lawyer? Who make a lawyer? Who make you lawyer? As Kanonta was there lying to the DOS, Ushen no Okurafo is there tweeting on our leader's uh, Twitter handle. She is there tweeting on a tweet. To confuse all of us, these people want our leader to die there. Believe you me, I don't know the reason why our leader will be in the house of the, the, uh, in the house of enemy. Kanonta is lying. And another day, the day they rendition our leader, if you people listen to Mazishin Asamoru, he said the same day they rendition our leader, he called Kanonta. Tell Kanonta again, where is our leader? Kanonta told him that our leader is fine. Then Mazishin Asamoru asked him, do, do, is he mean that he's getting mad? Is, does he mean that all this thing that he's seen on media is lie? Then he asked Kanonta, do you know that our leader is in Nigeria today? Kanonta said, wait, let me go and check. You, you, I don't know, maybe you people are understanding, but Kanonta will call you on the phone, begin to tell you that why should the leadership told you that they don't know where our leader is? The Kanonta will begin to ask you question on top of question like... Uh, when you ask him that, uh, but why you know that our leader is there? Not, he say the leadership supposed to know, be in position to know. How would they know? Are they checking our leader? Why all of them in America have already, you know, gang up to tell Onyendu to forget about the leadership that he was working with? That these people are going to sell him. That is the reason why after the rendition of our leader, uh, Nelly Ofebu, came out begin to call names those people that sold our leader they begin to call all of them name i am telling you people these people have to come and tell us the reason why our leader is being kidnapped they keep on hiding it they should come and tell us why should they cancel the first seat at home what canota was telling us is because of people that want to go and do neko Neko is the problem they are telling us this is because of Neko. He couldn't even bring a reasonable thing to our people to listen. It's people that they will went to school. You will finish your university. There is no job for you. This is the people that cannot come up and begin to tell us they want to go and do Neko. What I'm trying to tell, I, I am the one that will say this. And if I say it on one, nothing will ever have. I'm telling you, take it to bank. I don't lie. Take it to bank. They will confirm it for you. I am the one that will ask them this question. Nobody, I will ask them. Why, why are they lying to the leadership? Kanonta telling the leadership that our leader is a mountain praying. Why our leader is a, Do you know the reason why they released Sunday Iboho? Do you know the reason why Sunday Iboho was being released? Because after they caught to read Sunday Iboho, the people that they were around Sunday Iboho raised alarm. Telling the people of Yoruba people that they have caught your, 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 the person that is championing you. Everybody rise up. At the same time, these people are not are not so pugari. Today, our leader is in DSS Don John. Now they are telling you that it's uh, it's DOS that is disturbing everything. Why do Mazishin has and World have came out time without number said he don't know that our leader was kidnapped. And why I want you people to 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 believe what he said because he mentioned people's name. He mentioned Kanonta. He mentioned Kaloran Okorafo. That when he asked Kaloran Okorafo. Somebody was telling Caroline Okorafo, which is Kanonta, that he should not tell anybody. That is why Caroline Okorafo was there writing to our leader uh, the, uh, Twitter handle without knowing that our leader is already in the in the does he mean that if he say our leader when they are telling our, the DOS that our leader went to mountain to pray, does he mean that these people are waiting for our leader to die?
so that they will say they will carry the body go to mountain and leave it on the mountain there and tell us that our leader went to mountain to pray unfortunately he died there i don't listen to me we have to begin one nail and you people should begin to ask question one nail one, one, one. i know they fear no i fear no bother you people should begin to ask question does it mean that when they are telling people that our leader was a mountain praying does it mean that they are waiting for our leader to die so that later they will show us a mountain that our leader have died in mountain is it what is it the same thing nelly ofebu was saying that our leader have died in kenya are they waiting this man to die there so that they will tell us say the man died he went to pray and he have already blessed biafra biafra is coming that is why he died on mountain this is the question john okarola and okora for who gave him that permission to begin to write or the man said, "Name the cannot Twitter, Twitter. Who permitted her? Why can't you be telling me? If you call you on the phone, he will first tell you. The leadership are in position to know where Onion do is. How can the leadership? Because this is how they want to begin to brainwash most of our people. When they call you on phone, they will be telling you, are they not the leadership? They're supposed to know best." But that is not the way it's supposed to be. Some of them don't want to be disturbing our leader. Some of them have understood what is playing on the ground. And they want to also distance a little bit because Onyendu have Onyendu said that he knows everything about the struggle. They don't want to begin to disturb Onyendu, to bombard Onyendu. Why Nelly Ofebu is calling Mazen Nankan every two minutes? Uh, what is her name? Uh, Oyibo is calling Mazen Nankan every two minutes. Uh, this one is calling Mazen Nankan every second. All of them know. Who bought the ticket? Ask your question. Who bought the ticket? How did our leader go there? Who bought, who sent money to our leader? Now they will be come to you. They will call you. They will tell you that uh, the leadership is supposed to know better. That leadership is supposed to know because they are the leadership. When all of you have already, because Ma, I keep on saying, you see Mazen Namdekan. Mazen Namdekan is a woman. Mazen Namdekan is not perfect. We are all, we are not perfect. So we, he can make mistake. I never, I can never in this life blame our leader. His people surrounded our leader begin to manipulate our leader, trying to use what our leader love most, like a Bridget Oka for watered her ground, Madam Oyibo, Bridget, or most Oyibo watered her ground with hundred thousand fake money, fake money, no money. My great people, I am saying this with categorically clear, and that is the question that you're supposed to be asking why our leader was adopted kidnapped for eight days people were keeping quiet those people that know 100 percent canonta knows that because this is the people that mazichin has and mentioned 100 percent carlo ryan okorafo knows that our leader was kidnapped simon Epa knows bridget okafo knows because these people are the people that are communicating with our leader when they have already sidelined his own leadership they want to take over they want to go and kill our leader that is why they have already been bombarding our leader telling our leader the leadership want to kill them they want to take over him they want to take over that and our leader say human being now of course you have to be afraid of yourself this is how it is i don't lie about what i'm saying our leader have to you know distance from certain things to know unfortunately distancing himself these people have sold our leader they sold our leader and they begin to ask a question who sold our leader the worst part of it from Kanonta, whenever I speak to Kanonta, whenever I ask Kanonta this question, he will begin to ask me. He will take me to the leadership. Go and ask them because he will tell me because they are the leadership. They're supposed to know better. How would they know better when every, none of them told him? Why they know? How did they know? He'll be telling me that they have a meeting. He told me that they're supposed to have a meeting that day. Okay, when they're supposed to have a meeting, they are not communicating with our, our leader. They're supposed to have a meeting. After the meeting did not hold, they call you. Is Oyendu okay? Yes, Oyendu is a mountain praying. Oyeke, you are telling me what are you talking? Listen to me. Be not going about this question because all this thing I'm seeing today, plus uh, Madam Finance giving Kanonta a huge of money, one million dollars to begin to process. I don't know how Madam Finance can have that mind. He don't work with the leadership that our this is how they we are, have been conniving all of them they are conniving together because they want to sideline the real leadership that our leader have already put in place go and watch old video of maze maze nam the canon with maze chic dosium and maze abanim you will see how young they were there by i think 2012 they were sitting discussing you will see how young they were at. they were they were starting this thing for one leader now because american people have came hey, with america where they came everything will be changed we will change the narrative the narrative they are changing we don't know that these people want to go and sell our leader 
You see, when this Eberima in Finland said, Eberima knows that our leader was in Kenya. Eberima knows that they have already kidnapped our leader because Eberima and the, uh, what is that, Kaloran or Korafo, they are five and six. They are five and six. If you remember the day that, because Nedo Febu don't want anything, he want to have this Eberima by himself. Only for himself, herself, I mean to say, for herself, only for herself, not but only for herself. That is why anybody that is coming is Nedio Febu would like to do her best to stop them. When uh, Nedio Febu want to debunk uh, Kaloran Okora for because things getting worse, they, 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 they couldn't even get themselves. So now, Simon, Nedio Febu want to talk about uh, uh, this idiot called uh, Kaloran Okora. You are telling me that he's a lawyer. Who gave that idiot lawyer that don't even have a sense? That when I was talking to this lady, I was trying to tell the lady what to say. When the lady told me to give her phone number to some people, I told these people, when you talk to this lady, there are some certain things that you will tell you, tell her to stop. Because some people are telling me, ah, but it's a lawyer. Which fucking lawyer? I did somebody that I spoke to. That I know that this person has no brain. He don't have law. I don't know how she made it to be that, that in a legal team. And if she is truly, I don't believe. Because she has no sense. She talked too much. Kaloran Okorafo is the one that went to Simon and began to tell Simon that uh, Mazishina Samoru hate, hate him. How would not they hate you? You come from backyard. You want to take leadership. You people want to give Simon Eba leadership. Can you tell me the first person that called Simon Eba to come and start broadcasting on Radio, on radio Biafra? Kanonta. But if Kanonta call you on phone, Kanonta will begin to tell you that uh, is he not the leadership that brought Simon Eber. This guy will just begin to forward things to you first. That is how Kanonta get all these people deceived. He will first of all begin to, to the leadership, be, condemn them, they condemn them, tell you, say, they're supposed to know better. As you, as somebody that has no brain, you begin to say, of course, this guy is right. These people, they are in leadership. They're supposed to know better. That is what you, is going, you are going to be thinking. But you don't know that they are using this thing to manipulate your mind. Because, of course, they are in that position to know more better. But before the adoption of our leader, these people, they were blind. They don't know what is going on. They are blind. They are blind. They don't know even that Onyendu was in Kenya. They don't know. Only Kanonta know 100% that our leader was in Kenya. Caroline Okorafo knows that our leader was in Kenya. Oh, Madano Yibo Bridget Okura for all of them. They know that our leader is in Kenya. Then how did the who's can ask begin to ask who buy the ticket of our leader? Uh, when they tell you who buy the ticket, you cannot believe it. Who buy the ticket? You won't believe it. Now those people who buy the ticket will be still telling you that uh, you don't know what you are saying. They are the people that send money to our leader. Twenty thousand dollars in Kenya. They are the same people that are accusing the leadership. The same people, not all of them. Listen to me. I want you people to understand this. Like I said, I'm not going to waste your time. I am telling you the question that you people are supposed to be asking this time around. Because if you don't ask this question, believe you me, they will, you see, they will turn your mind upside down. Ask them first. Why are they beginning to delight to the leadership after the adoption of our leader? Telling them that our leader is a mountain praying. Why our leader is in the hands of enemy? Caroline Okorafor is there tweeting. Caroline Okorafor is there tweeting. Ask Caroline Okorafor who gave her that permission to begin to deceive our people, to brainwash our people that our leader is okay. And according to what Canon told uh, the leadership, they believe because somebody is somewhere tweeting. Somebody is somewhere tweeting. Our leader do this, our leader do that. So how are you going to believe that somebody something is happening to our leader? How will you know? When the tweeting handle is going on, they will come back and be telling you that they're supposed to know better. Ask Madam Finance the money, our money in PayPal. We are not talking about our monthly donation. We are not talking about monthly donation. Because I myself believe that monthly donation, uh, there's a lot of people that are overseeing it. And it's very, very, very hard for them to take any money from there. That is what I believe. But there is a money they have been contributing through PayPal. They open a, 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 a we have been contributing before. Before they open this woman's account. Before, when our leader was there, where is those money? We want to know where the money. He don't find somebody to work with. When I want to turn our struggle to family business. And you people will think that we are coming here. If you people want that, we turn it to Anambra business then. I remember when one of, one of my comrades will be calling me, telling me, Mazi, you know that you are from Anambra. 
You have to put mouth in this Anambra. I told my, my comrade that I'm not doing Anambra thing. But they are there. Do you know my hatin? Gathering people, contributing money as home, my hatin. Anybody they want to bring, they want to bring home my hatin. Anybody they want to put in position, they want to put home my hatin. Like, Mazin Nam, they carry his people for all. Mazin Nam, they cannot have gone beyond Afaruku Ibek. Mazin Nam, they cannot, people are dying because of Mazin Nam, they cannot, not for, because of him. But because of the ideology that he pushed to us, and all of us believe on it, and also fanatical about it. That is why some people are dying today. They are fanatical. They won't be afraid to come. Why some of you will be there? Lying to your teeth. Squandering on our money. If they tell you people, let us oversight our money or oversee it, you are telling us that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a independent. Who are you telling this independent? Egon Kaitro. What I'm trying to tell you people, begin to ask questions. Begin to ask question. I haven't forgot what Donald said. He said that can enter, not from my mouth when I hear him. But Donald said, I asked Donald, you are from whom? He Donald said, yes, he's their cousin. They, he knows. So Donald tell us to take it to bank. And I have already taken it to bank, but I never confirm it. But according to Donald, Donald tell us, say, if you don't confirm it in bank, tell him to do, 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 make DNA. Donald said that Kanonta is not a brother to my, it's not, he's just a cousin. He said he's a cousin. And all this thing that is happening today is what I don't, I told you people that Kanonta called me last time. After we spoke finish, I told him to send me the update. He promised him, he promised me he would do it up to date and never receive anything. I don't know how Mazin Namdekan will have media warrior, but we are blind. We don't know what is going on apart from everybody safe and Jofo, apart from Aloy Yejimako, apart from Ozakome, that after the court, <coughs> they will come to give us brief. What happened? Have you ever had the brief from London? This man, have you had the brief? Have you heard about our legal team in Kenya? Have you heard about that? This is the question that you begin to ask. Where is the money in our PayPal? In our PayPal, we have a PayPal. We have been contributing money since the ESN have been launched. That is what they ask them. Ask Madam Finance about PayPal. She will tell you where is the money. Nobody is know where the money. Tell them should they be should they, should they should bring the money. And on 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 up on up on me me. On on here. Kebi a gube ugu. Kana roa kane sinimi. That is something I am I'm, I am against it. And I can never support evil. I can never condone evil. That is why I'm coming here to say it categorically clear that all of them. So you people begin to ask questions. Don't wait. Begin to ask them questions. If they told us Mazen Namdekan was kidnapped, believe you me. I told you. I'm saying this. Mazen Namdekan can never be renditioned to that place. Mazen Namdekan they will hold him in Kenya. The way they hold you, Sunday Boho. Do you know that they want to rendition Sunday Boho? The people come out and begin to back it up. Sunday Boho have a problem in, in Benin. Why do you want to bring him to Nigeria? And when you go to constitutional of that zoo called Nigeria, you will see that the situation of Sunday Boho is something that they can never rendition him. The situation of Mazen Namdekano, you can never rendition him. You can never. You, there's no how. He will remain in Kenya. If the case will take 30, he will remain in Kenya, they will never, because they know that Mazen Nandekano is a, is a prisoner of conscience. And you can never rendition a prisoner of conscience to a place that they are looking for him to kill. These people was, I know Kuku, I know I know till they rendition our leader. Hana Migali, Nasi, on a non of a mountain on a pepper, on a quaka fan china, on a quam. Our leader was in the house of a DSS. And I hope that our leader will be asking himself. Where is my leadership? Why did they, they did not ask of, ask of me? You don't know that people that are supposed to know, they know and keep quiet. They did not tell anybody because I don't know they are into. I don't know what these people have in their mind. Somebody should come and explain to us. I am calling names. Kanonta should come and tell us the reason why. When they kidnap our leader, because he knows, he knows. Because why I say he knows is because, according to Kalorain Okorafo, when later Mazishin Asanwaru get Kalorain Okorafo, Kalorain Ushesho Okorafo said, Kanunta told her not to be, you know, to, 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 to tell anybody. He should keep it by herself and keep on tweeting. That is why you see Kalolai Okora. For when I was speaking, was speaking with Kalolai Okora, he told me that he hates China and so high. He hated China and I asked him why. He said that he was trying to teach China and to protect her.
I told her, how can she not want to protect you after eight days that you know that our leader was kidnapped, he couldn't call anybody, and now you want Chinas and Woro to protect you. That is the problem that this idiot have with Chinas and Woro. I spoke to these people. I have conversation time with that number with these people. That is what I want you people to know. I keep on telling you, one ne monago or abudo kwe kurunon. If you don't, if you know where I have been after this rendition of our leader, people that I have already spoke with, you can't even imagine it. Because I'm trying to get the truth. At the end, I get all the truth that I want. That this when magician has somebody say say that he don't know Mashi Kedo. Of course, I confirm it. They don't know. I confirm from Caroline Okorafo. He said these people don't know. Truly, they don't know. They don't know. So then, how can Onta will begin to tell me? To go and ask the leadership that they don't they know better why the person that was tweeting tell me that she they don't know they don't know they don't know that the, even though the girl begin to bring some propaganda to me that only do don't trust his own leadership that is what the girl was telling me that only do don't trust his own leadership only do never said is the woman we are saying probably that is what they told her to come and say i push this lady i push this lady to come on broadcast with me to come and make confirmation of a lot of things. She keep on swinging. Dodging, dodging. She don't want to come. Dodging, dodging. Till I have a problem with them, I just left them. Say, these people, I don't trust you people. You people must know something. I keep on asking the, the lady, which is Caroline Okoraf, Mazen Namdekano Secretary. <clears throat> I keep on asking her, how Nelly Ofebu is, you see everybody out there. How Nelly Ofebu was saying that you are part of those people that sold our leader? I keep on asking her, do you have a contract with Nelly Ofebu? And later you begin to understand that Nelly Ofebu is going out of the road. She said no. I asked her, then can you confirm to me why Nelly Ofebu keep on calling your name if he don't know anything about you? Caroline Okraf was telling me that he don't know, he don't even know who is Nelly Ofebu. That he never spoke to Nelly Ofebu before. That is the lies and deceit of these people. My great people have done with this. That is the question that I want you people to begin asking. Ask them this before I drop the video. I say it's a quick one. Make sure you get to people so that people will begin to ask this question because it's very, very important. The question is this. Why our leader was kidnapped for eight days? Nobody knows where about our leader. Kanonta told Mazishina Sanwuru that our leader was in mountain praying. He said he did not call him once, up to three times. The last one that he called Kanonta is the day they rendition our leader. This day we were surprised. He called Kanonta again, asked Kanonta, where is our leader, your brother? Kanonta said that he's our brother, our leader is fine. Then Shina Sanwaru, uh, Mad Shina Sanwaru asked him, he was talking to himself, does he mean that uh, I am mad? Does he mean that this thing I'm seeing on television is not real? Then Mazina Sanwuru tell Kanonta that do you know that Onyendu is in Nigeria now? Kanonta told him the work okay, wait, let me go and confirm. Now you begin to say what I Onananga invented. And ask Kaloline Okorafo after the rendition, after the adopt of our leader, who gave her authority to begin to tweet on Mazin Nam the Kanu Twitter platform? Who who told her to keep on tweeting? To get on, you know, how they want to use our brain, begin to twist us that we can't understand till they will kill Onion Do there. Tomorrow they will carry the body, go and put for mountain, begin to tell us that Onion Do went to Mount Zion or Mount Caliver or anywhere to go and pray. Unfortunately, he died there. They will begin to show us the picture of mountain. We see or one on on our on our on our on our on our on and the Joe Madam Finance, our money on PayPal, he should come and account the money in PayPal that we have been paying. The money they have there is a huge money. I don't want to be calling the name of because before some of our people will go gaga. The same thing, Madam Finance gave uh, Kanonta one million dollars. Can somebody tell me for what purpose? He said for a legal team. He's the one that is uh, in charge of legal team. Ask Kanonta up to date. Have you ever had the update from the, the legal team in, uh, in London? Have you had update from the people in Kenya? So which legal team is controlling? Can somebody tell me? This is what I have. And I want you people to continue asking this question. I will still come to your way very soon. Great people. Good day. I welcome. I'm still remember Mazo Okinawa Okechuku. Known as the Biafranchi. I don't watch it.
On now, John came one knee like it's your own chain. One knee, man, catch you with your one of the game. I don't lie about what I'm saying. One now, because over my damn, I could speak on what one name on what he got and you got and one. That is why I said there's a people in right position to ask a question because when you ask a question, there's something to back it up. I have paid a lot of files, I have paid a lot of dues, I have paid my defense phone. So now, Pierre, now, Pierre, for you to understand. Because all you want a woman, a bamaybe go monte. That's nothing. Bamaybe go monte. A guy, even though he has someone that we paid, where is this? Where the money we pay on paper, where it is? The contribution they have been contributing in paper. We are, we are, you know, some people don't understand what we are saying. Some people think that we are talking about uh, our monthly contribution. No, we are not talking. We are not talking. We are talking about ESN contribution. The money we have been contributing on paper. Where is the money? And if I tell you people how much is there, you cannot believe it. And it's not going to come out from my mind, but the day all got up, my back of one like this. This is what I have for you people, great people. And I thank you all for listening. And make sure uh, you share this video because it's very, very important. Because I believe when people listen, they will begin to ask the same question that I'm asking. I salute you all. That this man, the plans, they did not kill this man. I thank you, Koki Kabiama Deshu. And I want you all, the DOS, to go and be, start thanking God. I want you, the whole DOS, those people that don't know that our leader was there, those people that don't know that our leader was kidnapped, I want you people to go and give thanks to you. I'm not telling you to go to church and go and be giving this, those idiots there, be paying your tax. No. You step one and you'll be your, you know, your Koki Kabiama, thank you for, for your survivor. Because I don't know what we could have done with you people. The whole DOS from Mazishi Kedozem to I don't know what we could have done to you people because we could have hold you people without going anywhere because only you people we know. But we thank God that our leader survived it and everything opened. I want you people to keep on thanking God. Mazishi Kedozem, Mazishi Nasamoru, Amazi Abanyamu, Mazi Tony Zrumike, Mazi anybody that you may consign, Mazi Terry Remy, Mazi who, who again, all of them, all of them they are working. I want you people to keep on thanking God that you go to Kabi and my brother run on Aka. Ndia joy eventually be won. Because believe you me, if if we could have only do died, but we thank God that He survived it. I don't know what we are going to be doing with you people today. I'm telling you people, before we will understand it, it's going to be too late. But I thank God that everything happened. Thank you all for listening. Good day and welcome.